Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Holding Nature Bonsai. Today I'm making part two of how I made this out of this. This is my first bonsai that I made a few months ago, so I am a bonsai beginner. In part one, we started working on this tree. The first thing I did was I cut off the top of the pot, which was about here, and dug down through the dirt and the roots with my chopstick and my hands just pulling dirt and roots away um, until about here, where this flare starts. Since then, off camera, I went ahead and cut off more of the pot and kept digging down until I got down to here, exposing some more roots down here. This seems to be the bottom of the trunk, and it's where the roots go down into the soil, so the m majority of the root mass is contained down here in this inch and a half that's left of the pot. So uh, so the roots were kind of growing upward in this pot because it was planted so low in the pot. Um, so I have removed some of the roots, but the majority of the roots are still intact inside this pot. And I'm going to try to not mess with those roots too much. Now, you'll see I've got a little stick here that marks my chosen front. This tree has got some great movement in the trunk here. You'll see that it comes this way, and then it kind of goes back, and it's got a little bit of a lean to the left. Now, I was playing around with the angle, and I decided that I would really like to angle this tree even more to the left, like this, when I repot. And before I continue working on this tree, I want to go ahead and repot, because I'm going to be cutting off a lot of branches today. So I don't want to disturb the roots too much any more than I already have. This is the plastic bonsai pot that I bought in Japantown here in San Francisco from Ketsura Garden. Um, and it was very inexpensive. You'll see here in the bottom it's got um, several sets of holes for wiring the tree into the pot. And these holes are not that big so I'm not going to worry about covering them with mesh. I'm just going to go ahead and wire the uh, tree right into this pot with some additional bonsai soil. Alright, so I've just taken a couple of pieces of wire and wired it through the bottom like that and just spread them out so I can put some soil in here. This is bonsai soil, this is not regular potting soil. Alright, now I'm putting this tree in the right side of this pot. If you see, if I were to put it in the left side, it would look very unbalanced at this angle. In the middle, it still looks, looks a little bit unbalanced. But in the right side, it helps to create a sense of balance because of the way this is leaning. And you always want to pot your tree a little bit off center. All right, I'm pretty happy with that thing. So I'm gonna put some more soil in here. Okay, that's good enough for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and wire this in by pulling these wires in here and twisting. Turn this around real quick. Then I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to grab that twist and I'm just going to continue twisting with the pliers until it feels pretty tight. Tighter. That feels pretty good. Then I'm going to take these. Two wires and pull them together and twist a couple of times. This time I'm going to cut off the ends. Make 
to the court easier. Twist with the pliers and twisting, twisting, twisting until it feels nice and tight. You don't want to break your wire. Tighter than that. All right, I took the wires down into the soil so you can't see it. And now I can pull out my little marker on my front. So, you see I put little twist ties on some of these branches, and those are marking which branches I want to remove. I decided to save some time by planning ahead of time which branches I wanted to remove. Um, you might remember that last time I was trying to decide whether or not I wanted to keep this branch or keep this branch. Now, why not keep both branches? Because this is a handlebar. This is what... Um, some people uh, refer to as a handlebar because you've got two branches sticking out of the exact same elevation of the trunk, opposing each other, one on the left, one on the right. And this is what I call a handlebar. Now, handlebars are bad, so I need to decide which one of these branches is going to go and which one is going to stay. I had originally decided that I was gonna cut this one off and keep this one. But the more I looked at the tree, at the rest of the branches that I have to work with, I realized that this is the thinnest branch. So it didn't really make sense to keep this as my lowest branch because it's so much thinner than the rest of the branches. So I decided instead I'm gonna keep this nice. So this is gonna become my main directional branch. Um, it's gonna be sort of anchoring this design and becoming the lower left corner of our triangle that we're going to be um, creating. So I'm going to start removing branches and I'm going to tell you why I'm removing each branch that I take off. I've already told you why I'm taking this one off. Now, what's the next one up? The next one is here. Okay, so, all right, so moving up the trunk a little bit more, we get to this swollen area right here that has all of these branches sticking out of it. This is what's called an internode, and internodes are really bad in bonsai, so we have to correct this by cutting off all but one or two of these branches. You see how it's swollen right here. If you don't remove most of these branches, this swelling is just going to continue to thicken and become more swollen over time and that creates inverse taper in your tree. So I decided to keep two of these branches in this internode. I'm keeping this right branch and I'm keeping this back branch. I don't wanna keep this branch because then that would be sort of a handlebar right there. We actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven branches coming out of this internode which is a huge number of branches. Sometimes you only have four, five, maybe just three, but, um, but yeah, we've got seven here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm keeping only two of them. So I need to cut off five. So I decided which five I'm gonna take off. I'm taking this one off. This one here I'm taking off. This one back here. And this one over here. Looks like I'm actually keeping three of these for now. We'll see what happens in the future. Because this one's a little bit lower down and these two are a little bit higher up, I think that's fine. Actually, this one's the lowest, this one's in the middle, this one's a little bit higher. So I think that's okay. I think just keeping those three that are at slightly different levels. This one's actually slightly above the actual internode. So I'm really just keeping these two. 
and I think that's fine because this one's a little higher, this one's a little lower, so it's not quite a handlebar. So moving up the trunk and keeping these, I guess, yeah, keeping that and that. The next one I'm removing is this one. And then I'm going to be taking off the top right here. I'm taking this whole top piece off and keeping this as my new apex. Okay, so I'm going to take this one off, and then, big move here, very carefully, I'm going to take this one off. I'm going to take the top off. And the last cut, the last major cut that I'm going to make is to take this top off down to right here. Now, why am I going to do that? Because I don't need all of this growth up here. I don't need this length. So picture this tree that short. And you see there's a nice crown that will form right here. As soon as these branches, all of these little buds here are going to become branches. So this will have more growth on it. This will have more growth on it. This will have more growth on it. These will have more growth. These will grow out. So this will become a nice crown for the top of my tree. So I don't need this. So I'm going to take this off. Okay, right here I've got my concave uh, knob cutters. I'm going to use to take off this um, swollen area of our internode where I took off these branches. If you can see that little branch there, cut that off there. I guess I'll put my glasses on so I can see better. All right. So let's see. I've got this little knob right here I'm going to take off. that. You can see right there a little knob I took off. Turning the tree around again I've got a couple more stubs right here I'm going to take off. I've got this stub right here where I cut that branch off the top. I'm going to go ahead and cut that down as much as I can. All right, that's pretty good. I ordered about eight different gauges of bonsai wire from one millimeter up to four millimeter. This is two millimeter wire. Now I'm going to test this branch to see if this wire is strong enough. It kind of, the, bend, the branch sort of bends the wire, so I don't think that's quite strong enough. This is some two and a half gauge wire, it's a bit thicker. 
and that does a better job of pushing down on the branch, so I think that'll be good for wiring this branch. So right here I've got a length of wire. I'm going to wire these two branches together. Um, it makes sense to wire your branches in pairs so that one can anchor the other. And I've cut this wire to be a few inches longer than this branch, as well as a few inches longer than this branch. So I'm going to start by bending it around the trunk, and I'm going to take this wire around this back branch uh, counterclockwise a couple of times to get that anchored there. And then I'm going to move back over here and I'm going to wire this branch clockwise. At about a 40 to 45 degree angle, 45 to 55 degree angle I mean. I'm going to turn this so that I can hold. You want to hold the wire as you're going up the branch. Okay, in between there. Move my finger up, hold it there. Wrap it again. Move my finger up, hold it there. Wrap it again. Be very careful not to crush my branches as I'm going. Get my glasses back on. And then at the end, I'm going to turn this around, twist it very loosely so that I'm not crushing the needles here because I don't want to remove these needles. With my wire cutter, I'm just going to snip off the end like that. So it's just holding it like that. Turn this back to the front. And I'm just going to take this down. I'll figure out exactly what I want to do with that later, but for right now, I'm just going to put it down to about there. And then I'm going to flip this so that I can do the same thing to this back branch. to the end. I'm just going to very loosely kind of make a loop like that. Let's get that off right there. And I'm going to push this down and kind of pull it over to the right a little bit. to shorten it up a little bit. Something like that for now. So now we've got some background elements happening here. This one and this one I'm going to wire together. So this is 
the foreground and this is background. These two are much thinner branches, so I'm going to use a thinner wire. I decided I'm going to take this little branch off back here because this is too much of a handlebar for my taste. And I wanted to definitely keep this front one, so this back one is going to go because this will come down into this space, this will come down into this space, and that'll leave just enough space in between. So I'm going to wire this branch, actually, let's see, these two can be wired together, so I'm going to wire these two together. Okay, so I've got the wire sort of following the shape of these two branches, extending past a couple of inches. I'm going to start by coming around the trunk, and I'm going to go clockwise over this branch a couple of times to get it started, and then come up trunk to this branch. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and wrap around. And then come counterclockwise over this branch. A couple of times. Alright, back to the front branch. Continue. Now where these needles are, I don't want to take these needles off, I'm going to again very loosely just loop this around. And you've got a bunch of little buds here that will become new branches, so you don't want to crush those either or accidentally knock them off. Close that up. that. Okay, this is going to come down and just put a couple of bends in here. Let the tip up a little bit. You want your tips to, to point up a little bit. Now later I'm going to go through and wire all of these um, secondary branches. So I'm pushing this branch back a little bit to sit in the space between these two branches so that this is not shading out this branch. Some movement into there. Then I'm going to wire these two together. Okay, let's start from the other side of the trunk over here. 
and I'm going to come around this back branch clockwise a couple of times and then around this branch counterclockwise. These two and these two together. Okay, I'm going to come over this branch clockwise a couple turns and then coming around the trunk, I'm going to go counterclockwise around this one. And I'm gonna actually twist this branch a little bit so that it lays a little flatter, like this. All right, now I'm gonna wire these two together. From the front, you don't really see this branch all that much, but you don't, you're not going to see every branch. Right now, this is just a background element that you'll see from different angles. Um, but from the front angle, it's not really that important in the composition. It is important in the overall composition, even though you can't really see it from the front. Okay, so now I've got these two branches. This, which used to be a branch, is now our trunk. Um, so I'm going to wire these two together. I wired this branch counterclockwise, and I wired this branch clockwise. Now I've got the top, and I think at the top here I'm going to add a little bit of interest by just bending this back to the right a little bit and up like that.
Okay, so all of the main branches have been wired, and the next step is going to be to wire all of the secondary branches.